civilization and society rests on morals. Morals rest on religion. Religion rests on the Bible and faith in God and in Jesus Christ. The in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death is apart. So I wanted to win the game, and you want to win games, but sometimes the basketball gods say you shouldn't win the game, and I thought tonight was one of those nights. Come on, somebody! Census Bureau says 64% of African American children live in fatherless homes. 64. Here's another number 72. 72% born to unmarried women, majority of them again without a man in their households. In more news, an article in the Wall Street Journal last week spotlighted a topic often ignored in the nation the alarming abortion rate for African Americans in the United States. Wall Street Journal columnist Jason Riley wrote a piece last week titled Let's talk about the black abortion rate. Riley explored how in New York City, thousands more black babies are aborted than born alive each year. And he highlighted how on the national level, black women terminate pregnancies at far higher rates than other women. Look at these numbers. In 2014, black women made up 13% of the U.S. female population. But 36% of all abortions were performed on black women. I spoke on this exact topic, the alarming black abortion rate, with a pro-life leader earlier this year. Pastor Clenard Howard Childress Jr. is senior pastor of New Calvary Baptist Church and assistant to the director at LEARN, the Life Education and Resource Network. He coined the phrase that the most dangerous place for an African American is in the womb. We go now to our interview with Pastor Childress to hear why. Well, first, it's not hyperbole. It's not a radical rant from a right-wing reverend. It is a sociological fact. 52% mm. uh, of all African-American pregnancies end in abortion, 1,786 a day. And since 1973, over 20 million African-Americans have been killed by abortion alone. So it is not uh, anything to be used uh, lightly. Mm. It is a sociological fact and it's happening on our watch and I'm grieved over that. Growing numbers of African-American women in Maryland and across the nation are leaving traditional church worship. All of them are in search of something else, a spiritual belief that connects them to their ancestors and where they can feel more empowered to control their own well-being. They have found it in ancient forms of spiritual contact. Some call it witchcraft, a term they accept and embrace. America needs a tidal wave of the old-time religion. America needs to be taken down to God's bathhouse and the hose turned on her. And the time isn't far distant when the wheels of God's judgment are going to go sweeping through this old God-hating world. And I want to take a pledge in this audience to join me in a pledge that you will never rest until this old God-hating, Christ-hating, whiskey-soaked, Sabbath-breaking, blaspheming, infidel, bootlegging old world is bound to the cross of Jesus Christ by the golden chains of love.